999 out of a thousand times if you have a free body diagram supposed to draw a labeled free body diagram and it is out of five marks on your free body diagram you should be expecting five forces four marks four forces three marks three forces that is the trend okay so let's take a look at this one 2.2 draw a labeled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on block a while it accelerates to the left so we haven't even read the question statement but let me show you something i can start drawing my free body diagram what do i mean by that i know fully well that the weight is gonna be there so i don't need to read the equation in order for me to put the weight on my free body diagram i can put the weight and think about everything else after because i know that the weight is gonna be there it's not up for discussion the earth is going to be pulling the object towards itself. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our question statement so that we can identify all the other forces. Block A of mass 4.1 kg is connected to block B of mass 2.3 kg by a light inextensible string passing over a frictionless pulley. Block A is at rest on a rough horizontal table. So hearing that at rest on a table normal force that is the first thing and we already know from the equation that it is accelerating to the left so if it is accelerating to the left the frictional force must be to the right so there we go we have the frictional force a and b are connected by a light inextensible string so we have the tension force there we go and then a force f of magnitude 49 newtons is applied on block a so there we go our force f of magnitude 49 newtons so this is force applied let's take a look one two three four five five marks five forces i think we are good to go let's go ahead and do 2.3 so 2.3 2.3.1 we're supposed to calculate the magnitude of the kinetic frictional force acting on block a so let's go ahead and do that quite an easy question uh would assume the frictional force is equal to well the kinetic frictional force is equal to the coefficient multiplied by the normal force the coefficient between the surface of the table and block a is 0 0.35 so the coefficient is 0 0.35 all we need is the normal force and we have answered our question the normal force in this case is not going to be equal to mass multiplied by gravity because of this force applied okay um, let me show you the normal force plus the y component of the force applied we can resolve the force applied into its components they're going to be equal to the weight because the object is neither moving up or down so by saying this we're saying that the normal is the weight minus the y component of the force applied so what is the weight the weight is the mass 4.1 multiplied by the gravity which is 9.8 minus the y component of the force applied the y component is going to be 49 so in the flat surface cos is x and sine is y so sine of 50 degrees so let me get rid of this i was just showing you how the normal force is coming about so the frictional force is going to be equal to 0 0.35 multiplied by 4.1 multiplied by 9.8 minus 49 sine of 50 what do i get 0 0.93 so 0 0.93 newtons we are only interested in the magnitude do not need for direction so there we go that is 2.3.1 but what about 2.3.2 what does the question say acceleration of block a we want to calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of block a by applying newton's second law to each block separately <laughs> i guess people they don't know that they're supposed to apply newton's second law to each block separately you know the question even states apply newton's second law to each block separately I thought we all knew that but it seems like we didn't but anyway stories 
block a let's apply newton's second law and see how it goes so we're gonna have f net being equals to m a well the force that is pulling the object minus all the forces that are opposing that is how i usually say it so the force that is pulling the object here is the y not the y but the x component of the force applied a f a x so we have f a x minus all the forces that are opposing the motion of the object so which forces are opposing the motion of the object the forces pointing in the opposite direction so in this case is uh, the tension and the frictional force and this is equals to m a so f a x that is going to be 49 we said that x is cos so cos of 50 minus the tension i don't think we have the tension um minus the frictional force the frictional force is 0 0.93 this is equals to ma so 4.1 the mass and the acceleration is also unknown okay um i guess we can solve these and yeah move to object b so let's do that 49 cos of 50 minus 0 0.93 um am i doing that in the correct order i think i am so we get 30.5665666 if we round off to 40 small places minus the tension being equals to 4.1a so this is our equation one let's take a look at b so b what's happening at b uh, we have the weight obviously and we have the tension force am i missing something obviously we don't have the normal it is hanging we don't have any frictional force it's not in contact with f law so i think there we are um so are we moving at a constant acceleration no we are not uh but the blocks are moving to the left so b should be moving up so the tension uh, well let's start by saying f net is equals to m a first and then the force that is pulling the object is the tension and the weight is opposing and this is equals to ma so what is their tension the tension is unknown uh, the weight is 2.3 multiplied by 9.8 this is equals to 2.3 a so tension what is 2.3 multiplied by 9.8 that is 22.54 so minus 22.54 is equals to 2.3a um so let me okay i can make what do i want to calculate i want to calculate the acceleration so i can make the tension the subject of the formula in this equation and then substitute into the first equation or i can just add the two equations uh, but in this case i think it is easier if i make tension the subject of the formula so t is going to be equals to 2.3a plus 22.54 even if you add the two equations it would still be fine i think this is the first time i'm actually doing this usually i just add the two equations but it doesn't really matter right um the math is correct we know that for sure so if we substitute this t in equation one we get 30.5666 minus the tension which is 2.3a plus 22.54 this is equals to one not one but 4.1a right so 30 30.5666 minus 22.54 uh, this is 8.0266 and it is equals to 4.1 plus 3 point not 3 point but 2.3 this is 6.4 a so a is equals to 8.0266 divided by 6.4 and this is equals to 1.25 meters per second squared there we go tell me which video do you want me to do next i'm waiting